Usually, left lateral position is best for the proximal transverse colon because it allows suction to collapse the hepatic flexure towards the scope. But sometimes, changing to right lateral position lets gravity drop the colon and the scope towards the flexure, although the view won't be so good. The longer and more mobile the colon, the less likely that pushing alone will be effective in reaching the hepatic flexure, although pushing hard for a few seconds and then pulling back may be unavoidable. Once the instrument has been pulled back to lift up the transverse colon and the hepatic flexure is in sight, four combined actions should coax the tip towards the flexure. Suction to collapse and shorten the bend. Try counterclockwise torque to gain a few more centimetres. Try hand pressure over one of three places to advance the scope, either left upper abdomen, centrally or right side. The assistant continues this hand pressure over whichever site works best. Ask the patient to breathe in and hold the breath, which lowers the diaphragm and often the flexure too. If all this doesn't work, try pushing through the loop before resorting to position change. The hepatic flexure is an acute hairpin bend and needs maximum angulation to steer around, often blindly. The haustral folds pass by face-on, like climbing a ladder. There are five points for passing around the hepatic flexure. Watch carefully to decide which way to steer when a good view is lost. Suction to bring the opposite wall of the bend very close to the lens. Start steering around in the pre-decided direction. Simultaneously, pull back the shaft, often with anticlockwise torque, to lift up the transverse and to push the tip into the ascending colon. This is the same trick as pulling out during gastroscopy to advance from the duodenal cap into the second part. Finally, suction again when the ascending colon is visible to collapse it and slide the tip down towards the cecum. Change the patient to supine position and try again if necessary. If the tip is stuck and the tricks aren't working, is the scope still at the splenic flexure? The giveaway is usually the presence of fluid. The hepatic flexure in left lateral position is air-filled and dry.